The reviews are in for Hunter's art career. Former Obama White House ethics chief tearing into the first son's plan to sell his paintings for prices up to a half million. That's one of them. <laughs> the notion of a president's son capitalizing on that relationship by selling art at obviously inflated prices and keeping the public in the dark about who's funneling money to him has a shameful and grifty feel to it. And Hunter's not the only member, family member, <laughs> cashing in. Relatives of key White House officials have landed jobs in the administration, but Jen Psaki says there's nothing to worry about. We have the highest ethical standards of any administration in history. A number of ethics officials have conveyed that, um, and we're proud of that. Dan, couldn't you argue that Hunter's paintings are designed to keep his nose clean? Because that's why he uses straws. Uh -huh. You get paint in it, then they can't put it up your nose. I mean, that could be. Yes. That might be a part of, you know. That's how you beat your straight. habit. Dana? Yeah. I, I loved <laughs> doing blow art. Yes. <laughs> I did as a kid. That was one of the best things at Vacation Bible School. We would do that. It was so fun. Um, the, Bi what? Vacation Bible School. What's Vacation Bible School? I, I went to went Vacation to Bible vacation School. You went to Bible uh, I, I did too. Yeah. So oh, what are you wait, talking wait, wait. about? We're the weirdos here, Jesse. We didn't okay. go to Vacation In Bible School. In the summertime school. and sometimes Christmas holiday yeah. or Easter holiday, there's a week where you go to like a camp every day. It's vacation Bible school okay. and you get to do like crafts and activities like and learn about Jesus. art and mm -hmm. learn the Beatitudes. Yeah. Oh, maybe right. we should have gone to that. Yes. Yeah, I think, I th I mean, I think uh, there's a hole in my life. Vacation that I Bible school was awesome. Although the last thing I'll say on this is responding indignantly to questions about ethics in regards to the president's son or um, you know, other situations is kind of uh, ironic given that they really ran against President Trump based on his ethics and right. their perceived view of How quickly ethics. they forget, Dana. How quickly they forget. Dagan, uh, you know, uh, what's wrong with selling art based on your notoriety? Isn't that just kind of like an autograph? Uh, no. If your father is in the White House and you have a history of questionable, at, at the very least, behavior, a year and a half ago, nobody even knew this loser yeah. was an artist until the New York Times wrote this glowing profile of him. At, just as the pandemic was taking off, but they won a Pulitzer for the coronavirus coverage, there's a new artist in town. The name is Button, was the title of it. And they talk about, oh, the paint-stained forearms and fingers oh, and no. the yeah. black and red deep under his nails. So now he's selling these things or trying to for half a half a million dollars. I'd say that the, of that price, 90 percent is bribery, maybe 10 percent is for the paint. Mm -hmm. But nobody now is going to buy this dreck mm -hmm. because they're going to have their background looked into. Like yeah. they're going to get a ring-a-ding-ding -ding from the FBI yeah. or justice. Yeah, maybe he slips coke into the canvas. That's a great way to get it over the porous border. Richard, the one thing about nepotism I think that we could agree on is that it hurts minorities because well, yeah, what you're already laughing at my How question. How do minorities get into this? Because because <laughs> White people have the jobs that they can just hire their cronies' I we're kids. we're talking about Hunter Biden. No, we're talking about nepotism. Well, listen, I... Minorities are hurt most by nepotism because they aren't in the power structure to give the jobs to their fair, kids and fair friends. Enough, I think enough. that's in the bill, and the Iowa bill. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> fair enough. Look, I, <laughs> listen, I, I think that, um, you know, I don't think that Hunter should be selling his paint, paintings. Uh, and listen, I also think that in this particular moment, as we talk about Hunter Biden, it's worth pointing out that there is still a, a pending justice investigation that is mm -hmm. going unharmed, untouched by the Merrin Garland Justice Department against Hunter Biden, which speaks to the fact that, this, that, Joe, that Joe Biden and, and he believes in this ideal of an independent justice system and a justice department and that's ha and that's happening and with that being said it's also worth pointing out that there's no Biden people that work in the White House, unlike the Trump White House, where everybody who worked. But their point was that, though, that there are a couple, there are a few people who are couples sure. that are appointed in the White House. That often happens. You meet in Washington, you stay in Washington. You know. Yeah. Let's the swamp, Dana. Nobody wanted to hire Peter. I, when I coined the phrase <laughs> swamp, that's what I was talking about. We need to drain that swamp, Jesse. I. I don't know if selling art is a bad thing because I have a feeling you and I are going to be doing this very in the next 10 years. We're going to be doing blow? Yeah. Art. <laughs> blow art, yes. Or vacation Bible school. Right. We should probably do both. <laughs> One before the other. So do you consider me a petty person, Gutfeld? Perhaps. Would you mind if I acted a little petty? Oh, please do. Last week, I said <laughs> on this very show that Hunter selling his little blow art to, I don't know, a Russian billionaire for a half a mil was violent 
violating the spirit of campaign finance and potential, I don't know, laundering laws, bribery statutes, whatever. Now, did that make waves? No. Then this guy, th Walter. the ethics expert for Joe Biden says it, and everyone goes, oh, really? Well, perhaps we should look into this. It doesn't take an expert to realize this is a scam. Yeah. Uh, do I need a new title? <laughs> yes. is, is, is Fox host not enough for people to pay attention? Yeah, you I mean, be an ethics expert. I mean, do, do I have to go to law school for people to listen to me? It's clearly a scam. Why does an expert have to tell you? And then everybody says, oh, yeah, it's a scam. I said it. <laughs> when you look, shoot, look at those paintings. Just look at those paintings. You realize that it looks like, I don't know. I don't know why you spend a million dollars on like that. What does it look like to though. you? Well, I was waiting for them to throw one up there, but it just looks what like, that? like uh, it looks, looks like a leftover from a Smurf orgy. But why would you spend a million bucks on that? I just don't understand. Yeah, well, that's what it is. It's, it's that's well, you the don't point, understand, Richard. Richard. It's Richard. Richard. All right, the fastest. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.